As Americans navigate tax season, the IRS is struggling to keep up with performance and customer service. Our Washington correspondent, Basil John, reports as lawmakers discuss how to fix the problems. It's all in our top story today at 5. It's tax season, but some lawmakers say the IRS is struggling to keep up. Even before the pandemic hit, the IRS was in trouble. Massachusetts Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren blames lobbyists and anti-tax extremists for slashing the IRS budget by 20% over the last decade, impacting technology, staff, and customer service. This means that the IRS can't chase down wealthy tax cheats or adequately assist the majority of Americans trying to honestly fill out their taxes and claim refunds. Warren and Oregon Democratic Senator Ron Wyden want the IRS to have the resources to fix the problem. What's the path to getting a permanent fix rather than just putting band-aids on it? The IRS, we need to get out of the age of the dinosaur or the dark ages, as you indicated, and we need to modernize our systems. But some Republicans don't think more funding is the answer. I, for one, am skeptical that Technology and money, which seem to be the answer to a lot of our problems these days, is going to be the panacea. Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn says the problem is bigger than just slow service. Uh, they're actually writing checks uh, to people who are not entitled to that. Cornyn believes the trouble started when things like stimulus payments created new work for the agency. He says it's not the right time to make any more changes. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.